Woot! I figured out how to do folding text. Let's get to it. Okay, the first thing we're going to do to create folding text is go to the plus and do an overlay title first. Click edit or double click on the timeline. Go to your text to edit it, this button right here, and I'm going to write folding text. I like all capitals when I do this. I then am going to choose the following text because I think it's more condensed and you get more uh, text and bigger. So this one right here, it's condensed and it's heavy and I'm going to move it out as far as I can about right there, maybe even a little bigger. Okay. Now I'm going to go to frame and fit and I'm going to go to cropping. I'm going to go to the bottom and crop half of the text. I'm going to go back, go to the main timeline, hit clone. I'm going to take the cloned clip and move it underneath to the main title line. I'm going to click edit on this, go to frame and fit, cropping. I'm now going to crop the top and it won't go any further than that space and then move the bottom all the way over and I'm going to use back. Now I'm going to go back to the top and edit it. This is the, probably the most important part of editing in folding text is the next steps. I want it to look like there's a little line. So I'm going to go back to frame and fit and cropping and I'm going to go to that bottom and I'm going to move it. It's at 506, maybe to 509. Okay, there we go. Now we see it. Okay back to that. All right. Now we're going to roll to the very beginning and make sure on the timeline you're at zero. You're going to go to frame and fit size and position and put a keyframe at the very beginning. It's always the first thing I forget to do. So don't forget it. Now what you're going to do is you're going to run out to one second mark, put your next keyframe in. And at this point, what I like to also do is keep all my keyframes. So my next keyframe is going to be at two seconds right there. Okay, so I have three keyframes in the top. So I'm going to go to the second keyframe, make sure you're actually on that keyframe. And I'm going to go down and use this size Y to roll this all together as small as it'll go, 0 0.001. And now what I'm going to do is roll it forward it actually, if you'll notice, it's unfurling the way it's supposed to. What I'm going to do is go back to the original track, main track, and click at it. And this is where it, I'm going to put my frame and fit in here, but I'm going to put my first one at one second. Click my size and position. Roll it forward to two seconds. Do my frame and fit. I want to go back to the top. frame and fit. And at the second mark, it's going to fold down. And now at this mark, it's going to move down as it's opening up. So I'm going to move my position about right to there. Go back to the bottom, go to edit, go back to frame and fit. At that two second mark, I'm going to move the position of this one down. Again, so there's just a little bitty space. That should be perfect. Okay. Oh, I still don't have that space there. So there's the space. I fold it down and sure you're on the top track. Um, and this is where I'm going to come to my Y positioning here because I can see it better. And then I'm going to just move that. So there's just that little line. And sometimes it's easier for, because you can see it on the top track. That's why it's easier to edit. Now for the most important touch, we're going to go back to frame and fit. We're going to close size and positioning. We're going to make sure that we roll to this section between here and here, between zero and one. What we're going to do is we're going to go to blending, start at zero, roll forward to one, and at one, we're gonna take the blending all the way down. So as it is folding, it is fading, and it really gets really the look. This is where it really becomes professional looking where it really looks like it's folding. 
And now we're going to roll forward to that two second mark. Click that blending mark again. Throw up that opacity to 100. And now watch. It folds and it unfolds fading in and out. That's what makes it look really, really good. So that is how you do folding text. And now we're going to show you how to save those presets so you can use them over and over again. Here's the real secret. Once you create it, you're going to go to the top. You're going to go to the edit and you're going to go to size and position. And over here on the right, is the star with the little plus sign and you're going to save this preset so after you've learned this you won't have to do it again you're going to create a preset for it so i'm going to come in here and instead of motion two now i've saved this before so i'm going to save it as a different name i'm going to create this as two top fold and hit the plus so you save that motion now when you go into your favorites there's my two top fold. Now I'm going to go to the bottom one, click edit, frame and fit, go to your star for your motion, back it up. I'm going to put two bottom fold. I'm going to save this. And now I've got top fold, two top and bottom fold. So I come to the end. I create a new main title, move it up, edit. I'm going to come here and retype my text. Done. I change my text to my favorite font that's nice and heavy and condensed. Make the size really big. In this case, I'm going to change my color. I'm going to come here. I'm just going to clone this and bring it down below here. And now this is where the magic is. I'm going to click on edit. Always go to frame and fit because you're trying to get the motion. And I'm going to click on my star and I'm going to go to top folding and I'm going to go to my bottom. And I'm going to go to bottom fold. And look at that. Now it may be a little off, but you can use those settings over and over again. And then all I have to do is just go in, maybe tweak it a little bit. But for the most part, that worked really, really well. I hope you've enjoyed this video by the Peppy Techie. I certainly have enjoyed making it. I love learning how to make folding text. So make sure that you subscribe to the Peppy Techie and hit the bell so you'll be notified when I make another video. Thanks for watching the Peppy Techie channel. Woot, folding text, you can do it too. Put some comments down below and tell me how you did it, what you used it for, and if you like this video, thanks a lot. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Hope you'll subscribe to the Peppy Techie channel. Please make sure you hit the bell so you'll be notified when I make a new video and leave your comments down below. Your questions, your thoughts, even your advice is much appreciated. And don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks for watching the Peppy Techie channel.